guys, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today we're doing a little bit of American Muscle Mustang Show prep on the Whipple Charge 2015 Mustang GT. Uh, basically, I'm doing a plug swap and a plug regap. Um, plugs in this car have been in it for about 20,000 miles, and after talking to Rob at Palm Beach Dino, he seemed to think that 25,000 was a little bit better than 28, which is what the Whipple Tune likes uh, which is what I used to have so I figured I would go ahead and swap the plugs out and regap them. I also want to show you guys a pretty cool little tool to help gap spark plugs. I just used it for the first time and it, it worked pretty well so I'm going to show you guys how that works and uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can pick it up if that's something that you uh, if you like. Alright so stay tuned. Alright guys and we're back and before I start here real quick I just kind of wanted to show you this tool. Uh, this is basically what I used for the first time today to, um, to gap these plugs. I do run the NGK 6510s, very common plug amongst the uh, boosted guys, uh, maybe the NA guys too, I'm not sure, but I know for sure the boosted guys. Um, so basically what you got here is you've got this little tool here and you've got threaded holes in the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to thread your plug into the bottom like this. And you want to just go until it just the little strap sticks up above and as you can see this thing turns and that threads down so what that does is that presses down basically on the strap now I've already gapped this plug so I'm not going to gap it again but what you're basically going to do is you're going to take your feeler, feeler gauge that's how I gap my plugs turn that out so that you can get to you're going to stick your feeler gauge in there just like that, feel how it, where it is, and then if it's too loose, you're gonna basically turn this down, and that's gonna press on the strap. And you basically, what I kinda did was I kinda held this in there as I turned this down against the strap, and I noticed what happens is the strap will bend like it should, and once you let go of the, of the thumb screw though, once you turn it out, the, the strap will rebound ever so slightly probably maybe a thousandths or two so when you when you tighten the thumb screw down to bend the strap you're gonna have to actually go a little bit tighter uh, and it, it took me maybe two or three plugs to kind of get the, the hang of it but after that after the first two or three I, I had a real good feel for it and I knew that I needed to go you know where the feeler gauge touched and then I needed to go like another quarter turn to um, to bend that strap just a little bit more so that when I back the thumb screw back out it would rebound just enough that my gap would be perfect. Um, so this this works like I said I'm actually pretty impressed with it. This tool was like 30 bucks on Amazon um, and it's just I don't know it seems maybe a little silly but it just seems so much nicer than the the method that I have always done which is just take the the plug and just bang it on something, you know, a piece of wood or whatever, just banging the strap on something to kind of bend that bend that strap up. And then it never fails. You go too far, so then you gotta open it back up a little bit and then, you know, do it again. It's just, it, it's, it's very tedious. This tool made it very nice. Uh, it was, I got it on Amazon. It says Torque Solution on it. I'm not sure if that's who actually makes it, but it's uh, 14 millimeter threads, 30 bucks or so. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, of the video if you guys are interested it does seem to work pretty well so with that being said we're gonna move on to the actual uh, spark plug change now all right guys here we go we're back and now we're gonna start our plug change I have actually already done the uh, passenger side so now we're gonna do uh, or actually I'm sorry we've already done the driver's side so now we're gonna do the passenger side so I'm gonna go ahead and take off some of these things here just to make this a little bit easier Take off these hoses for the catch can, like that. And we gotta take our cover off, coil cover off here. We're gonna set that up there. We're gonna put this back on just to keep any oil from getting in there or anything from getting in the oil passage. And now we're gonna use our ratchet here. We're gonna loosen up. these coil packs ok 
Okay. I'm gonna take the first one out here. And what I always like to do a little trick is I like to pull the, plug, the coil up before I unplug it. Lift the little clip up like that, and then you get plenty of room to get under here. You could press, you hear it click slightly, and then you can let that go. And I do have some gunk down in there that I wanna get out before it falls in the hole. Actually, a lot of gunk. All right, guys, so, well, we, uh, so we had a little issue there that we took care of. Um, so basically, that's a, that's a good point, though. When you take these coil packs out of here, um, even though there's a seal around here, you want to watch that there's something that didn't get down in there. So I actually had some leaves and some little bits of dirt down right around uh, where the opening is for the spark plug to go down in. So what I did was I took a vacuum and went down in there and just vacuumed that all out. Uh, just to make sure that we didn't uh, drop any of that down in there. So now that that's all clean, I also took an air hose and used a, a, an air chuck and cleaned that all out. So now that we are good to go there, we are going to use a plug wrench, plug socket, and a ratchet here and an extension. We're gonna go down in here. I'm gonna break this guy free. <clears throat> that and then we're going to use our air rat or our electric ratchet here spin this guy out just like that and out comes the plug set our plug down you grab your new plug, put a little dab of anti seize on him. And then, something that I like to do when I do my anti seize, a little dab of it at the bottom, I like to just take a rag and just kind of spread it all the way around the threads like that. You're going to put him back in your plug socket. Drop him back down in. Run him down by hand. And then you want to torque these. I like to use the factory, even though these are not factory plugs. Uh, the factory on these is 12 pound feet which is the same as 144 inch pounds. So I've got this set, so I'm gonna stick this on here. Hit him a few times. Pull that guy out. And then, next step I like to do, I like to take my coil, and I like to put a little dilich of grease in there. So I'll kind of stick that down in there like that. Stick that nozzle down in, do that a couple of pops of dielectric grease. That might be a little too much, pull some of that out. Like that. And then you can slide him back down in. At this point, before I um, put him back down in. I like to take the, clip, the clip, uh, plug, plug it back on, hear it click, put that back down, slide that back down like that. And then you put your retaining screw back in. And this guy has a torque spec. but I always just snug it down.
Hey guys, Tyler, we're back. Uh, you may have seen there at the end, we had a little bit of a technical problem. Camera stopped recording. Don't know why, but it was pretty much done anyway. That's why I didn't start recording the same day again. This is a few days later. Um, basically the other three cylinders are the same. The one in the back's a little bit harder to do just because of the battery box being in the way, but it's not that hard. If you, you know, work with it a little bit, you'll be able to get in there and get it out, no problem. Um, so that's it for the plug change. The car is sitting here, it's ready to go. Uh, this weekend is the American Muscle Mustang show up in Pennsylvania. So me and some friends from the local area are heading up there. Um, try to bring you guys some good coverage of the, that show, hopefully. So if you guys want to check back next week sometime, there will probably be um, some more videos. Um, that being said, guys, give me, give me a like, give me a subscribe, let me know, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Also, I'll put the link to the spark plug gapping tool. I'll put that in the video down below. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you can pick that up. That being said, guys, we're gonna end the video right here. We'll see you around.